Okay, and welcome back to part two of the Guide to the Badger website. We're looking at the lists and directories. I've already clicked on the directory. So let's just take it uh, one at a time. We've got uh, far too much time on our hands, so I try and keep an up-to-date list of everything. The directory of contractors is really quite useful. My uh, map-based, where you can put in a place. Let's go to Edinburgh, lovely Edinburgh and have a look at every contractor within 50 kilometers of Edinburgh. Bingo, there you go. Um, and in fact, who's that fabulous person there? That's me. Or, of course, you can look at it just as a list. Um, search for it, let's have a look at all the Wessex offices. Here we are. Um, don't worry, sometimes this happens as well because they've actually got the word Wessex in there too, British Wessex. You've got the companies, very handy if you want to get in touch with them and uh, perhaps actually give them their CV or stuff like that. Next we'll have a look at the specialist services. This one's again all for you. Uh, it also helps companies find people. Uh, you need someone who can do some building analysis, there you are. All the people you need, including yours truly as well. That'll give you all the information you need. If you want to add to this list, feel free just click there and fill in all the details as per and again I'll do the rest national organizations it's a, a rather large list but if you actually just need to get in touch with the right person then you will find them here and I say I try and keep up to date I've already noticed that historic Scotland is now of course historic environment Scotland so I'll get that one changed as well but if you actually notice any errors do please get in touch with me curators I use this quite a lot I need to get in touch with the right curator in the right place um, I'm always getting in touch with East Lothian so here we have it all the details I need for the East Lothian archaeology service so I can phone up I can email I can even go to their website as well let's see if it's still working <gasps> it is that's good Back up again, and we have universities. This is a, a list of all the sort of educational institutions that are doing archaeological courses. Again, you can click on them. It will give you contact details, their main website, and their courses website, as well as a, a brief um, piece about them as well. You can even give them a phone. I have everything you need, every university or educational institution you might want. Online HERs, always incredibly useful. Now, of course, there are amazing systems. There's the uh, Heritage Gateway and Canmore, etc. But we also have all these listed here. Um, PassMap, brilliant. No matter what you want, you can get the information you need. We'll finish off with archaeology societies. I'm always advising people to join an archaeology society in their area to get the experience they need. Here you are. You just zoom in to the place that you're living. Pick that and off you go to that local society. I've actually only done the ones really that do active archaeology. But you can usually find a society near you that's doing something. Finish off with, um, never sure why I did this, but in fact it was, it was great fun to do it. It's all the reenactment and living history groups. Again, pick a period, um, mm, prehistoric periods, here we are. Potted history, fabulous. You can get whoever you want from this list of reenactment groups that I've handily put into period and type. I'll give you one more though, just at the bottom here, we have a thing called field schools. This links to the Past Horizons uh, field school system, where again, you can search for field schools. Um, that'll do nicely. Here we are, all the field schools in Ireland at the moment. You can see when they're happening and uh, view more details and even go on the project if you want. So there you have it, the lists that uh, Badger has, it's not just that, have a little wander around Badger, you'll find even more lists of software, um, equipment, 
that sort of thing. Uh, you'll find them all over the place on Badger, but it mainly are held in the directory. Well, that's enough for part two. Look forward to part three.